Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So, if I was given this expression, negative 4 times the square root of 28x times the square root of 7x to the third. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all under uh, one big square root right there. Those two parts, I can combine it together. So, we have negative 4 times the square root. I'm going to put my numbers together, 28 times 7. And then that x comes down here, excuse me, and that x to the third, right there. So now let's go break this down. 28 is 4 times 7, and 4 is 2 times 2. And then x is, we have one x there, and then three x's right here, x, x, x. So now let's go circle our pairs. I have a pair of 2's right there. I have a pair of 7's right there. I have, um, you know, like this, a pair of x's right there, and another pair of x's. So everything has a pair inside the square root, which is great. So we, so we simplify this. We have negative 4 on the outside times a pair of 2s times a 7 times an x times the last x. Okay, And there's nothing else left inside the square root, so we don't need it anymore. It kind of disappears and it's gone. Okay, so now we have to simplify this. Negative 4 times 2 is a negative 8. And negative 8 times 7 is a negative 56. x times x is x squared. So that's it. That's our final answer. Negative 56 times x squared. So let's recap. We're given negative 4 times the square root of 28x times the square root of 7x to the third. I rearrange this to have it all under one big square root and put my numbers together. 28 times 7 times x times x to the third. We broke that down a little bit. Um, 28 being 2 times 2 times 7 and then x to the third being x times x times x. We circled our pairs. We had a pair of 2's, a pair of 7's, and two pairs of x's. Every pair is represented by a single element outside the square root, and then there's nothing left inside the square root, so that disappeared. So we're left with negative 4 times 2 times 7 times x times x. Simplify that to get our final answer here, which is just a negative 56x squared. 